Hey guys, 420 scene here. Hope everyone's having themselves a super stony day. Let me know what you're talking on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret, unlisted, grow and smoke videos, check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right hand corner over here. Today we're gonna be talking about the top place to get beans from, and some of you might agree with me, and some of you might not agree with me, or you might think I should have mentioned another place to shop at, but before we do get started, I want to let you guys know that there are a lot of bean banks out there that are really good, but I can't list them here if I don't have any experience with them. So don't think that I'm just trying to throw some shade at like some bean companies that I haven't listed on and this is not what I'm trying to do. I can't list anything that I haven't had any personal experience with. Makes sense, right? So that's pretty much why I'm making today's video. So let's start off with number six, Multiverse. This is the place where I originally got all of my Ethos Genetics beans from. I also got a whole bunch of other beans from them. I think I got like exotic genetics from them. I got a bunch of beans. I got some freebies. I think it was from like Atlas Seeds. I got a whole bag worth of stuff from Multiverse, guys. I listed this one high up though, like at number six, because out of all the places to shop, I think that Multiverse is the least convenient, but they have a really good selection. You know, that's why I totally put them on the list. Just because I put Multiverse at number six, it doesn't mean that like it's a trash place to shop at. It is a really good place to shop at or I wouldn't have listed them. The only reason I say that it's less convenient is because so you got to get a money order and then you got to take a picture of the money order then you got to email Paul with a picture of the money order you know with the order number so that way they can send out your beans quicker while the money order is going through I mean you don't have to send them the picture you could just do the money order but it's going to take a little bit longer maybe one or two days longer I'm just saying if you want to get your beans quicker you're going to have to email them a picture of the money order with the order number so if you're one of those guys like me that like to order online with a debit or credit card this might not be the way to go, but if there's any particular strain that you're looking for and you don't mind doing the money order, it's really not all that bad. Their beans are solid. It's totally worth the seven days, totally worth the money order. Next is gonna be number five, True North. Last year, I made a similar video like this, but for 2022, and I think, I don't think I mentioned True North on there, but I'm mentioning them today in today's video because I've had some recent experience with them and I think they're great. Their website looks pretty decent, not gonna lie. You know, it could be better, but I've seen <laughs> A lot worse websites, honestly. They have an excellent variety of breeders that you can shop from. Not as much as attitude as far as the different breeders out there, but they still have a really good selection. And I also like the fact that you can pick and mix. Like, you don't have to buy a 5, 10, or 20 pack if you don't want to. I think I saw a 25 pack on there, but you don't have to buy all that if you don't want to. You can buy a one pack and just pick and mix. They are based out of Canada, so if you live in North America, like the United States or Canada, you should be getting your beans within a week. I think they only accept master card though don't quote me on it but I remember whenever I tried to use a visa, it didn't work. So if you have a MasterCard, you should be perfectly fine. Number four, Herbie's. This is the place where I got my Apple Betty from. I feel like Herbie's has kind of slept on. Honestly, I don't really hear anybody even like in the comment section. No one really ever talks about Herbie's. At least <laughs> you guys don't really talk about Herbie's. They do have a lot of stuff that you normally wouldn't find anywhere else. Apple Betty is one of them. Grandmommy Purple is another one, which I have and I really want to try sometime. I got like this Amazon bag filled with beans. Herbie's is pretty much, they are their own brand, but at the same time, they do carry other stuff, like from Barney Farm, I did see Blimburn on there. They got Royal Queen, they got Dutch Passion, G13 Labs. I mean, they got a lot of stuff, but they also have a really insane collection of different beans that you can buy. There are some strains though, I never even heard of, like Zaza OG, like what even the fuck is that? Strawberry Pie, American Stanford, like they got over a hundred, I think they got like 115 or 119 pages, different flavors. It's ridiculous. Honestly, the only thing that sucks about Herbie's is their shipping. It takes like forever and a day to get their beans. I remember one time when I did get my Apple Betty, it also came with the Grandmommy Purple that I mentioned earlier. I forgot I forgot that they were sending me beans and I ended up getting it like a month later. Like they emailed me, we want to send you these beans. And then I don't know, I feel like I never got them. And then like a month later, I think it was a month, month and a half later, I just... I finally got them and I'm like, oh shit, that's right, I, I got these. I feel like if you're maybe in a situation where you're in the middle of a run and you don't have anything going on for a month, that's when I would order from Herbie's because, so that way you have some time so you can wait. It's not gonna be really all that bad, but if you're looking for beans within the next couple of days to a week, Herbie's is definitely not gonna be it. Now, this is just from my experience. Now, this did happen last year and I know this is the 2023 video, but because we did do the Apple Betty and I didn't mention Herbie's, 
in the last video. I don't think I mentioned them in the last video. I, guys, it was over a year ago, but that's why I'm mentioning them now. Number three, ILGM. Yes, I'm sure I'm gonna be catching some shit for evening mentioning ILGM, but you know what? I don't give a flying fuck because they got some really good beans. I truly feel that a lot of people do trash on ILGM for the simple fact that they totally cater towards beginners. Like most beginners, when they shop for their first beans, they pick ILGM and they don't really know much yet. So the chances for screw ups are like at an all time high. If you know what you're doing and you have a few runs at least under your belt, you shouldn't have any issues with ILGM. Heck, they're even the first company that I started with and I've never had any issues and just kind of kept using them over the years. I'm just gonna say it, their germination rate is nearly perfect. I'm just gonna say it right here, right now. If you can't pop ILGM beans, you might wanna work on your germination techniques. Nicest way I can say it. The only thing though I'm not crazy about when it comes to ILGM is the fact that you have to buy at least, I think it's still at least a 10 pack. I don't think there's a five pack that you can buy, but you, I know for a fact that you have to buy like a 10 or a 20 pack. So if you're just looking for pick and mix, where you can get maybe a one pack or a three pack. ILGM just isn't it, unfortunately. But if you're trying to grow a whole bunch of beans at the same time, like if you're doing this outside and you're looking for a whole bunch of beans to pop without any issues and you're just looking for a nice big yield this summer without being super picky, ILGM is definitely for you. They do have a buy 10, get 10 free deal almost every month and I think that's where you get the most bang for your buck. So if you can help it, don't get any beans from ILGM until they have their buy 10, get 10 free. I know a lot of people don't really like them for whatever reason. I never understood why. I just know some people are just like, oh, they suck. But like no one ever really tells me why. I think I've had one person a long time ago tell me they... <laughs> I almost don't want to throw any shade. I think somebody said that they popped 70. Like they tried 70 beans and only like five popped. Dude, what? But I've always liked them. I used ILGM on so many of my runs. I've done the Girl Scout cookies, which I did last fall. Most of you guys remember it back when we had Discord. I did Big Bud, Banana, OG, GDP, Gorilla Glue, Sour D, Super Silver. I mean, I had an insane amount of runs from ILGM and I just never had issues. That's why for so long, I've just kind of stuck with ILGM. I know some people in the comment section are like, oh man, ILGM, why? Why? Why don't you try something else? The reason for that is they, they're just good. I, I don't have any reason to not like them. <laughs> you know, give me a reason. I haven't had one yet. Dude. That leaves us with number two and that's attitude. I love shopping at attitude for a number of reasons. Out of every place that I mentioned, nobody comes even remotely close to attitude as far as selection goes. They got well over 200 different breeders included. They got in-house, they got dark horse, exotic, love it in her eye. I mean, the list goes on and on. And on top of it, you can also pick and mix your beans. They always throw some kind of freebies and they have it set up in tiers. So like you got to spend a certain amount to get different freebies and so on. So the more you spend, the more freebies that you get. Another thing I really like about Attitude is they always show the recent drops in the front page. So it's just really cool to see what's new that's being released. Always fun, you know, just kind of going on the front page and seeing what flavors they got available, what's coming out soon. So, I mean, there's a wide range of stuff to choose from, like with Attitude. That's another brand I feel like is low key slept on. I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about Attitude that much. Their shipping, I'm not gonna lie, it does take a while, usually about two or three weeks. So if you're in a hurry to get some beans, Attitude might not be for you. And that leaves us with number one. Now this one, is number one, my favorite place to shop. It's been my official favorite place to shop for beans. And out of everywhere that I listed, North Atlantic Seed Company for the win. It is the best. They don't have as big of a selection as Attitude per se, but I mean, shipping is super quick. You're gonna get your beans within like four days. They're like the faster version of Multiverse in my opinion. They do accept debit and credit cards. So if you got Visa or MasterCard, both are gonna work. I think honestly my favorite part about North Atlantic is the fact that they keep in touch with you and give you tracking information and just really keep you in the loop with emails. And I just really like that about a company. Whenever I buy something, I don't know if you guys are like this. I'm sure most of you guys are like this. You want to be sure that you're in the loop with everything. And I just really like that. I think it's super important. It's a super important 
element of a company being able to have communication so that way you're not like did my order ship what's going on with this you know they always keep you in the loop quick even though their selection isn't as big as attitude they still have a pretty good selection of beans they got thug pug i love thug pug by the way i think i only heard of thug pug because of that interview i had with rob from cltv love you rob subscribe to cltv rob and trey are super awesome as fuck love you guys keep doing the work you guys are doing but anyway like i was saying they got they got Mephisto, they got Night Owl, Ethos, Soulfire, they got Greenhouse, they got Humble, just thinking off the top of my head. They got a lot of stuff to choose from. So even though their selection isn't crazy big, most of the breeders that they do have on the site are pretty well known in the industry, like the ones I mentioned. So those are my top six favorite places to shop for beans. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if there's a shop that you really like that I didn't mention, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. These are just my own personal favorite places to shop. And I figured now would be a great time to come out with this video, especially with summer right around the corner and everybody's trying to figure out where they're gonna be buying beans at, especially if you're brand new. I remember the first time buying beans, just how confusing it was trying to figure out what's reputable, what's bullshit, because especially if you're a beginner, the worst thing that can happen to you is just getting ripped off or getting a bunch of beans that don't really make the cut, you know? Like all six of these places that I listed are reputable. I bought from them at least once. Some of them I shop around with a lot. So if there are beginners out there watching this video, hopefully this video did help you out because I know how confusing and how crazy it can be, especially if you're like on forums and you know, you're trying to find out what beans are reputable, you kind of try trying to test out your feelers a little bit. You know, some people say, oh, this is good. Other people are like, you know, you're getting pulled from all different directions. So hopefully this kind of clear things up a little bit. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Before we close out today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. You have no idea how much I appreciate the love and support that you guys have been shown for the last two years. So before we close out today's video, be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.